Hello, in this meeting, you are going to learn reported speech part 1. I have some points to discuss. First, direct speech versus reported speech. Second, backshifting. Third, changes in reported speech. And followed by some exercises. First, direct speech versus reported speech. Direct speech is the exact words someone said. We use a comma or quotation marks, and we sometimes use the reporting clause. For example, Mary works in an office. Gina says, I think I lost my wallet. Bob, where have you been? Jane asks. Pay attention to the colored ones. Comma in green, quotation marks in blue, and reporting clause in yellow. Next, reported speech can also be called indirect speech, that is, uh, when we tell somebody what someone else t said. We do not use quotation marks. And reported speech is used to give someone a telephone message, tell someone news that we heard from someone else, or report something that happened earlier. We use a reporting verb such as say, tell, ask, explain, and others. We can also use those re reporting verbs in a simple past, said, told, ask, explained. And the common structures, someone said that, or someone told me that. Now we move to back shifting. It is the change in verb tense, moving it back one tense. Examples. If two minutes ago John said, I am hungry. And I am now telling his sister, I might not use backshift because John is still hungry. John said that he is hungry. But if yesterday John said, I am hungry, and I am now telling his sister, him, the backshift is used. Yesterday John said that he was hungry. Notes Backshifting is optional when the situations or statements are still true or when we use general statements. For example, Mandy, I want an answer. She said that she wants an answer. Or she said that she wanted an answer. John, the sun rises in the east. He said that the sun rose in the east. Or he said that the sun rises in the east. If the situation in the direct speech is no longer true when the speech is reported, backshifting is obligatory. So, Beth, I want a puppy. She said that she wanted a puppy. Students, he is wearing socks. They said that he was wearing socks. Some English tenses do not backshift in reported speech depending on the reporting verbs. So in this case, uh, it's using the reporting class she says. She says he is coming. She says that he is coming. Next, changes in reported speech. So, we may need to make certain changes like pronouns, demonstratives, expressions of time, and place, or tenses, to the grammar to make the sentence make sense. In direct speech, we say, she says, I like ice cream, but in reported speech, she says that she likes ice cream. They said, we are eating now. 
They said that they were eating then. And he says, I work every day. He says that he works every day. So the changes are、um, in pronoun and then expression of time and tense. First, pronouns. So it depends on the person to whom the message is referred. Look at the tables. We have direct speech and reported speech or indirect speech. Examples She said, You should go to my office. She said that I should go to her office. He said, I do know him. He said that he didn't know you. They said, You are right. They said that we were right. No. Do exercise one. Change the pronouns from the direct speech to the reported speech. Write the answers in your book. Later, you will find the answers. Next, demonstratives and expressions of time and place. For demonstratives, this becomes that, this becomes those. And expressions of time, now becomes then, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the following day or the next day or the day after, and next week becomes the following week or the next week. Or the week after. And then yesterday becomes the previous day or the day before. Last week becomes the previous week or the week before. And ago becomes previously or before. And tonight becomes that night. And for the expressions of place, here becomes there. And there remains the same. See the examples. Now, you have to do exercise to change the demonstratives or expressions of time and place from the direct speech to the reported speech. Write the answers in your book. Now, the change in tenses for direct speech, simple presence. For the reported speech, change the sentence into simple past, and simple past changed it into past perfect, present perfect into past perfect, and future simple. Becomes conditional would, and models remain the same, but need to learn more about the changes. And in this meeting, you are going to learn two things here: simple present becomes simple past, and simple past becomes past perfect. Okay. Look at the patterns of simple present and simple past. Example: He said she always wears a coat. He said that she always wore a coat. He said I am exhausted. He said that he was exhausted. Okay. Do again the exercise. This is exercise three. 
change the verb tense from the direct speech to the reported speech. The next is simple past to past perfect. See the patterns? He told me I loved the concert. He told me that he had loved the concert. She said I was sleepy. She said that she had been sleepy. Well, this is the next exercise for change the verb tense from the direct speech to the reported speech. Alright, now you can check your answers. I think that's all everyone, thank you so much and see you again in the next video.